science experiment, I tried to find out what the optimal shape for a parachute is. My hypothesis was that it would be a circular parachute, as parachutes are circular in real life. These are the four identical stormtroopers that I use as a people. There are three parachutes, the fourth one is a control. This is me making the parachute. My mom helped me thread the needle and I stitched them together. The first test I did was a free fall test. This was a test without the parachute. You have to look very carefully to see it because it happened really quickly. This is it in slow motion so you can see it more clearly. The second test was with the triangular parachute. There it's the parachute, and again, here it is in slow motion. The third test was with a rectangular parachute. This one flew really well and was very visible. Here it is again in slow motion. And then the final test, this was the circular parachute. This one kind of failed as the uh, threads collapsed together and it didn't spread out correctly, but here it is in slow motion anyway. As you can see in this table of results, the best parachute was a rectangular parachute as it was the safest because it had the slowest falling speed. My conclusion is that the rectangular worked the best. However, the biggest difference in results of the test with parachutes is 0.27 seconds. That's practically nothing, which makes me think that the shape of the parachute does not matter that much. Things I could have done better is have all the parachutes with the same number of attachment points because the attachment points cause a circular one to collapse inwards. I also should have had the ropes be shorter because they are too long in proportion to the area of the parachute. Have a bigger area because it would make the difference more noticeable. Conduct the experiment from a higher altitude because it would make it more noticeable. And do the test more times to get a more reliable result.